We wish you a Merry Christmas. All right, tubers, back again on the 5th of December. Yes, I do know what day it is today. It is the 5th of December. And I uh, wasn't going to start the vlog today, but there is something I wanted to show you guys that was really, really cool. Sitting out front of roses near my house. Something that you don't see every day. It is Christmassy. You guys know in my channel, I got to have a little bit of Christmas stuff every year. So I'm going to turn you around and show you and what I'm talking about. And here it is. Where's my penguin? Check this thing out. It is so cool. Not sure where the pump on this is. Probably down here somewhere. Yep. This thing was actually covering the door before people couldn't even get in. This was hilarious. I wonder how much something like this would run you. The only problem around here is we have so much wind that I can almost guarantee you it would blow away probably by the second storm. I gotta push these carts out of the way. People are so inconsiderate, especially this time of year. But that thing is just so cool. How many, uh, how often do you see a giant side? bigger than life-size Santa holding a sign that says, where's my penguin, right? <laughs> That's so funny. Looks like he's wearing black shoes, too. Well, I'm going to head into Rose's. I need to pick up some deodorant. I know, right? I should have put some on this morning, but you know what? I ran out. Mom's still in the thrift store, so I'm going to pause this vlog, and I'll talk to you guys All right, on the flip so side. I convinced Mom that we can go to Dollar Tree and get what she needs. So what do they got? They got the bubble wrap you need. They got some on the bottom there too. Is that the same size? Same size I think. They got everything here now at our Dollar Tree. They have bubble wrap. They have like mailing, different size mailing envelopes that are uh, have bubble wrap inside them. They even have the uh, brown ones here. Oh, really? oh look. look it. I have, like, they got little boxes. Yeah. Looks like they're all the same size. What yeah, are they? 10, 10 by 8, 8 by 6? They've always had like the letters and stuff, but that's pretty cool. You got a little dry erase board. Maybe we can keep track of our exercise days, right? Mm. Now we can use the calendar for that. That is really cool. Can I get one more? Yeah, might as well. You always need bubble wrap for something. That is really cool. And they even have this kind of packing. Did you need packing tape for anything? Okay, I thought Dad said he wanted some packing tape. But I'm just going to go around real quick. I know I haven't shown you guys... Uh, Dollar Tree recently. Got quite a few new items in. These little hook around sports headphones. I never really liked these, the ones that go in the ear. It's never felt right to me. Got an audio splitter. These do avoid these like the plague. They they just don't work. <laughs> Unfortunately, a lot of the cables are like that here. So what they got here? USB wall tap. What do you look for on these? See how that says one amp? That's only good for like basic, basic phones. Any smartphone is require at least a two amp charge. So just be forewarned if you buy something like that here, it's not going to work with your smartphone. The LED lights, they, see if they have any of those tactical flashlights left. I don't see them. They have some of these, but the tactical ones were the best. Let's see what they got over here. Yeah, they still got some stuff in the automotive section. Little, their version of WD-40. All season, um, it's funny. They have this uh, washer fluid here that usually says concentrate. I don't see it today, but you have to be careful because they have the same size one here. And the LA is totally awesome. So basically, you're getting the same thing and twice the size. So make sure you guys shop around a little bit there. Just kind of a top tip if you're going to Dollar and yes, Tree. yes, before you guys have to ask, I am going to pick one more of these up from Milo. Looks like they got the last one. Make some noise. That'll make them happy. I wonder why they're out of those. I guess a lot of this is really popular with cats. This one's purple. The other one is pink. They got the Nine Lives cat food back. Dry cat food. They got the Plus Care. And then this one's the Daily Essentials. I think I tried this one once and they didn't like it for some reason, but we got plenty of cat food now, so not too worried about it. They're getting some different types of um, friskies in here. They're getting the poultry platter, which I may actually give that a try because they need, they need some cat food. So I'm going to pick a few of those up today for them. Yeah, I try to do these once in a while for you guys. I know you like seeing Dollar Tree. Pretty much the same kind of stuff. These are some of their dog toys. Let's see what they got over here in the uh, electrical section. Ah, I am going to be picking this up. My wall tap is going bad. The one I use downstairs when I hook the computers up. 
Um, these are decent. They're not uh, surge protectors or anything, but you know they work good enough for hooking computers up to show to prospective clients. And uh, yeah, mine. What's actually happened is the one I plugged the computer in. The uh, plug is wearing out, so the plug doesn't always stay in and make a good connection. So, definitely gonna pick that up, and uh, we'll see what else we can find today here I at Dollar to hold Tree. Off on the uh, cat food, I'm gonna go to Aldi and pick up the stuff they have there. They tend to like it a little bit better, and uh, basically, it's the same quality. They seem to like it just as good. Not even a little bit better than the Friskies, because especially with the um, poultry platter that Aldi's has, and then of course the salmon. They go nuts for salmon, but I have to be very careful with cats because you don't want them to get mercury poisoning, so you don't want to be feeding them fish every single day. And unfortunately, a lot of the dry foods you have you can get have some sort of fish in it, so you got to be very careful about that. If you're feeding your cat wet and dry cat food, make sure they don't get a fish-based food every single day. Um, Mom's right at the end here. I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff in the cart, and we'll see what else we can find. I just wanted to, to show you guys. It looks like they changed the uh, OxyClean. We used to get the uh, tubs here. They were the uh, orange scent, and now it's called LA's Totally Awesome Laundry Booster with Stain Lifter. So it has changed a little bit. Matter of fact, let's open this up real quick if I can and see what it looks like. Let's see if it's probably just the exact same stuff. Yeah. It is. It's really the exact same stuff, the little um, white and blue crystals. So don't be fooled if you see this in your uh, Dollar Tree. It's the same as what you guys have been buying for a while. Obviously, just decide to change the uh, packaging. I think that has to do with the fact that the last few batches I got did not actually have any orange scent in it. So I guess that was kind of a uh, misleading advertising. So once again, you're good getting this. It should be just as good as the uh, check original. Check out the frozen foods, though. A lot of the stuff's been picked over. Got some vanilla ice cream, which I'm staying away from. But what I do like to get for my diet, I know I've shown this before, is the... Uh, I like the Luigi's, but the uh, Icy brand is really just as good. I don't see any of the Luigi's, so I'm going to go with this today. Let's see what the calories are on that. See, one of these is only 80 calories and 18 grams of sugar, so that's actually pretty good for a dessert. Go ahead and pick that up for later, just as a little bit of a treat. Yeah, same stuff they've had for a while, except they do have these uh, cheesy garlic um, breadsticks. I'm going to do some more food reviews once I get off the diet. Right now, it's just too hard. You can't really be good. I still have the Jamaican beef patties, and I will tell you, especially the spicy beef one, that is really spicy, and even worse is the chicken. I tried the chicken one time, and my mouth was burning. I kid you not, it had to be for at least five or ten minutes, so forewarned if you um, get those and don't like spicy food. But I do see something we are definitely going to get. My dad has been dying for pierogies, and he likes the potato and cheddar cheese ones, so we're going to get a few of these and try them. Let's see what the carbohydrates are. And I'm not going to be having any anytime soon. I am definitely going to pick a few up for Dad. So, and check this item out in your local Dollar Tree. Let's get a thumbnail pick. I'm going to get a couple of these. And I think we're going to go ahead and head out. So, I'm going to go ahead and pause this vlog. Talk to you guys a little bit later. All right. So, I just showed Mom the ingredients and the uh, nutrition facts on those pierogies. What did you say? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Is, what was it? It was, it was less than three. 2.6 pierogies. Are yeah, but look at the look at the uh, carbohydrates. Two point six of those pierogies are fifty six grams of carbohydrates. That's about. I'm only supposed to have twenty five a day, so basically I could have one pierogi. That's about what what I could have. But it's okay. Dad said he wanted them, so we're gonna get them anyway. I may try one or two, but that's about it. That would really have to be on a cheat day. <laughs> What else does it show? I'm just trying to see what kind of um, sauce or whatever you put on. I th a lot of people use like a uh, garlic butter sauce, but I think you can do um, marinara as well. But yeah, so guys, if you're on your diets, don't eat these. All right, super. For so sure. we're heading here into Aldi. I wanted to let you know I kind of had a little bit of an ego boost a few a few minutes ago when we left the uh, thrift store. We saw a friend of ours used to work with mom years ago, and she hasn't seen me for about four or five months. The first thing you said was, boy, you've lost a lot of weight. So you know what? I don't hear it a lot. It's nice to hear every once in a while that it's actually going well. And there's proof in the pudding. So that is awesome. If you guys see me, you can tell me that. I have no problem with that. <laughs> Maybe 
No, mom doesn't either. She likes it when people tell her she lost weight too. We gotta pick up some things here. Hopefully they actually have the cat food in. Uh, I gotta see, it's weird. They actually moved the K-cups. Used to be right here as you walked in where like all the cookies and things are. Now they're way in front near the bathrooms, like right, right before you get to the bathrooms and right in the middle of that and the checkout lane, so kind of weird. Well, let's see what kind of goodies they got today. I'm going to turn you around and uh, see what they got on sale. All right, Mom said they got a good deal on mangoes. Oh, yeah, 39 cents. Paid 59 cents a couple of days ago for those. Kiwis aren't in season, but that's still not too bad. What is that? Oh, okay. A one pound thing of kiwis, three eighty nine. That's a lot of kiwis for four bucks. It's interesting. What are they? Dollar ninety nine? Yeah, I give it a try. I don't know. It is pretty much the time for navels. That's why it's so cheap. Dollar twenty nine for three pound bag of onions. You want? Do we need any onions? That's a shame because that's a good deal. <laughs> Let's see what they got over here. Well, they got some green grapes. They're now selling the grapes by the pound, dollar twenty-nine a pound. But I'm trying to stay away from that because there's a lot of sugar in those too. Let's see what they got here: blackberries, two twenty-five. Yeah, that's okay. A lot of this stuff is a lot cheaper in the summer when it's in the season. Now that's not bad. Let me see: two twenty-nine for broccoli florets. If you don't know what the floret is, that's basically the broccoli minus the stem so not a bad deal at all this is something i've heard of riced cauliflower a lot of people use it in baking um i've heard people like make pastas out of it 220 i'll have to find a recipe out for this because that's that's not a bad thing I, I love cauliflower that's one of my absolute favorite vegetables of all time oh these are heavenly but they can be very hard to eat fresh energy these are Medjool dates. I've never heard of that type, but I love dates. I usually get, um, I usually have to get them. A friend of ours, actually, uh, her friend, it's a friend of a friend, grows them, and uh, yeah, sure. And they are so good. I used to get them fresh, but unfortunately, they retired and they don't farm them anymore. Not a bad deal either for white mushrooms, but just don't have a use for them. But if you guys go to your local Aldi, make sure you check this out. All this stuff's on sale this week. I'm going to go catch up with mom and I'll talk to you guys in a little what bit. What did you find? Oh, she finally found her cookies. Yeah, I got three bags. She was looking for these. This is her dalliance. We all have like one dalliance and this is the one that she likes. Yep. Luckily, we were able to finally find them. The other oldie didn't have any of them. We checked no, everywhere. No, nah, I, I think I we like looked. One a day or a half of one or one every other day. Yeah. It's like 80 calories for one. Stuff. Yeah, it's and that's good because thing. at night she, you need to have something to stain you to the next day. See what else they got down here. I'm gonna check out their specialty section here. Oh, this is cool. These are gourmet salad dressings, but these do double as marinades too. You got uh, pumpkin vinaigrette. Uh, what's this one? This is pumpkin curry, not my personal favorite. An aged balsamic. I actually used to like to take these marinate uh, chicken breasts in them. And absolutely delicious for balsamic. Oh wow, I bet dad would love this. Check this out. Red pepper, it's um, red pepper spread and pineapple jalapeno. This is the red pepper. Well, oh, he probably would. Dad, Dad's weird like that. <laughs> Let's see what else they got over here. Oh, here's their uh, toys. They got some toys. This is the specialty section. The Hammer Grazer, one tenth scale, high speed RC truck. That's interesting. They show a picture of a car there, and then that's obviously a truck. Eh, okay. Made for $24.99, right? And then they got the car right here. Uh, both one-tenth scale. Oh, boy. Star Wars is back out. Who do we got here? Ray in Jedi Training. I haven't actually kept up with the new series, so you guys probably know more about that than I do. Batman voice-changing helmet. Let's see. Where does it say talk into it Let's see I'm Batman hold on let's try it over here I'm Batman I'm Batman nope doesn't work <laughs> what you looking at 
What's this up here? Yeah, that's interesting. Foaming dish soap spray. You spray this on the dishes and it foams to clean them. Isn't that pretty cool? That's different. I've never seen anything like that before. Well, they do have some of these eraser pads. I actually do need some of these, but I tell you, you're better off getting the Magic Clean brand. The ones I've tried like this, they never seem to work. They just fall apart after the first use. Let's go over there and see what else they got. Mom found something she likes for oh, 10 I bucks. Have, I have too many. I that is never. pretty cool, though. Half price, because it's fall. Huntington Home Harvest Decorative Glass Pumpkins. Can you put, uh, oh, it includes the LED key, LEDs inside. You can see it's got like the uh, Christmas tree style lights in there. Oh, no, those are isn't glass. It? Isn't it? it? Those are lights, but I don't think the other ones have lights. It's hard to tell. Okay, no, they're right there. Things. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, these do have them in there. Oh, okay. Is it? Is it really? <laughs> it's a giraffe. It's Could be Jeffrey. But it doesn't have Could a giraffe. Could be long the, neck. what is it, the it's Toys R Us giraffe? No long neck, though. Generic. Uh, non-specific giraffe. <laughs> Pretty cool, though. If I was a kid, maybe eight or nine, even a little bit younger, I probably would have liked that for Christmas. Oh, and speak of the Christmas spirit. Check this out, guys. See what we got here. 100-count uh, LED lights. That's just not a bad deal for $14.99. Your LEDs are still pretty expensive. Holiday timer, so you don't waste power for those of us that yeah. don't have LEDs yet. <laughs> Got different candles here. Now, these are soy candles. I've had issues with soy candles because they tend to, to me, they tend to burn a little dirtier. I used to burn the soy candles, and uh, it actually put, like, black soot on my ceiling. But if you have a tall ceiling, that's probably not a problem. Some tea candles there. This is uh, Huntington Home. These are mason jar candles, which unfortunately I don't buy candles because a little Milo. Milo's such a stinker, I'm afraid he'd knock it off. Little placemats here. Look at the hat. Cars. Let me see. Cars. Oh, that's cute. This is frozen. frozen. I'm frozen surprised they can here. do that. Yep, frozen. <laughs> I like that though. $4.99. That'd be good for a little Christmas party. Here's Santa. Huntington Home. Tabletop Santa or Angel, that is so cool. I love the way they did the face on there. And that that actually feels like porcelain, too. Wonderful deals here. You guys got to check your Aldi out. I know a lot of you guys do already, but this is all their Christmas stuff. The little Christmas towels. Two towel set, probably one for your hands, one for drying your dishes. What you got over there? Yes, I've seen that one. That They actually keep reducing the price on that. I'm half tempted to buy it. At that price. They got furnace filters again. So that's about it for the Christmas stuff. They do have stuff like the tags here for 99 cents. Tape. Pretty much all your Christmas needs could be fulfilled right here at your local Aldi. Very, I don't know. What do you cool. think? Deep for the... Um, for what? The, you know, for the... Uh, the fireplace. Yeah, those may work okay. Let me see. Pull one out real quick. Well, you can see it. We're trying to find... You're talking about for the bookshelf, right, the next book to the fireplace? Yeah. Those would probably work. Those are not too think tall. Would be nice to put the CDs, or would you rather see the CDs? Would see, with me, I'd rather see them, I'd but if, 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 it's, if you feel that it would be better in there, then maybe we should. It's up to you. Decisions, decisions, right? This is the ones I got for the... It's the same color, yeah. Did yeah. you get them here? I lost them, I guess. I thought we got them at Big Lots. Well, it looks similar. I don't know. We might have. I, you know, I keep forgetting. We buy so many different things. Mm -hmm. I Half the time, I forget. I don't know if these are going to be good to put somewhere or not. Well, it's up to you. I mean, they're nice quality. Um, does it say down here? No. Yeah, it is. No, is that it? it? No. Well, You'd have to have them. You'd have to have them ring it up. Yeah. Somebody probably moved it, so... All right, we'll think about it. That's the color I need. I know it is. Well, I'm going to go and pause this vlog for a little bit. We'll catch up with you when we get home. I guess Mom has decided to I'll pick them up, right? If I don't use it for that, I'll use them for the... Uh, I'll use them in storage. There you go. Sounds good. All right, Talk you guys one more bit. thing. While Mom looks at this New York cheesecake that we don't need to eat, so we're not going to get you it, right? I know you do. I almost forgot what I came in for. The cat food. Really good deal here. Once again, the guys haven't seen the vlogs. Uh, this whole case here is 24. It's like seven or eight bucks, and this keeps them going for about a month. So I see you're deciding not to get it, right? I'm not gonna get it. 
Okay, okay, I know. I know you're sweet tooth, but you've been good. No, I wasn't you've waiting. definitely been good. I hopefully have been getting it. Okay. <laughs> All right, tubers. I'm gonna pause this thing and uh, talk to you guys when we get home. Special for bonus sure. shopping trip. Special bonus shopping trip. <laughs> nah, we had to go to uh, Walmart. Mom needed to pick up some shelf paper and a couple items couldn't get elsewhere. So I'm gonna bum around here. I'm actually gonna look at their active wear, see if I can find some uh, sleeping shorts. I haven't had any luck elsewhere. Roses doesn't have anything. Um, Gabe's didn't have anything either. So. See if I can find anything here. If not, I may just have to wait till next year. I only got three left, and they all got these little holes in it, especially in areas that uh, I don't need to mention here. So let's see what they got. Here's hoping all right, they have so them. far, no luck. I'm gonna go over here. These are all sweats, sweatpants, and not even in the clearance area. So yeah, unfortunately, it looks like I'm gonna have to wait till next year because I think around here is where they usually would have them. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see, they got some clearance items here. Pants, pants, all pants. Yep, all pants. Yep, so unfortunately they probably sold out of those a couple of months ago. Oh well, nothing in the clearance section. Have to wait and till next year. That's the men's clothing clearance section. I'm now actually going to head over to the store's clearance section which usually doesn't have clothes, but has a little bit of everything else, electronics, toiletries, food, people food and cat food, dog food, all that kind of stuff. So see what they got. The last time they wasn't so great. I saw that they were uh, stocking it, though, and the lady said they were moving a lot of stuff over to make room for more Christmas items that were coming in. So fingers crossed, might find something good. Wow, Never okay. Know. Wow, they actually consolidated they put more uh, usually the clearance aisle is both sides they have christmas stuff over here so let's see what they got in if there's anything good today it's going to kind of pan up here i'm looking up and down oh they still got those fidget spinners from last time mine broke but you know what i ain't gonna waste my money on that <laughs> still got that led pot light there Eh, I tell you, they really haven't done too much changing. And again, like last time, they still got these little uh, handy cam blank DVD-Rs, RWs. Robitussin 12-hour. But see, that's not that great. That's only like a dollar less than it normally is. So I would not buy expiring medicine like that. Yeah, not too much else. I got some helmets here. Oh, let's see. What size? Yeah, ages. Looks like uh, 8 to 14. Definitely wouldn't fit my head. My big Scandinavian head. Uh, yeah, that is about it. Not much else to talk about at all. Oh, what do we got here? Well, this is interesting. My godmother uses one of these, the cooling towels. Cool instantly when wet. So basically, you don't even have to put this in the refrigerator or anything. You just put basically cold, warm to cold water on it, and it actually activates this, and you rub, you put it around your neck. For people that get hot a lot, it really, really does work. Eh, it's not a bad price. I think she said they were like $20 originally. I actually don't need them anymore because ever since I've lost the weight, I do not get that hot anymore. Well, that's about it here for Walmart. Yeah, kind of All a right, bust tubers, today. Well, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the shopping adventure. I'm good, trying to switch it up a little bit. All different kinds of content. That's why we call this a variety channel. Please continue to like and subscribe. When I go up, I am going to be getting another haircut because you can see that my hair is grown out again already. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody. Bye.